Hi, and welcome to our latest video from Bodium Castle in East Sussex. I really hope you like what we put together here. If you do, why not subscribe so you don't miss any of our future travels. Bodium Castle can be found in East Sussex, in the southeast of England, just under 12 miles from the coastal town of Hastings and just over five miles from Roberts Bridge with its mainline railway station. But if you want to arrive in real style, then why not take a steam train from Tenterton along the Kent and East Sussex railway line. I'll pop up a link to Tenterton and that railway at the end of this video. But for now, let's take a look at Bodium Castle. And as the sign says, it's operated by National Trust. Here you can find the team rooms, and they offer on-site parking, free to members, chargeable to others. And I'll pop a link in the description below with details to the National Trust website on Bodium Castle. It's worth pointing out, you can walk around the castle for free. The ticket buys you entry inside the castle. And as you approach the castle, you get your view of a 20th century pillbox before getting a glimpse of the castle proper. And what you see before you are the ruins of a 14th century castle. And the original entrance across the moat would have been where we're standing roughly here, leading to the octagon in the centre, making it more difficult for attackers to reach the castle, as if the moat wasn't challenging enough as it was. And now it provides the perfect backdrop for Bodium Castle as well as home to one or two little fish. Bodium Castle was built in 1385 by the King's Knight Edward Dallingry. He received the King's permission to crenellate his existing manor house, but he decided to go just one better and built this castle. The aim was to provide a stronghold against the French during the Hundred Years' War, but it became a rather impressive statement for how important he was. As I said, it's now ruins, but what National Trust have done have provided a description to the internal layout of this castle, including the Great Hall, the Chapel and the Kitchen. All of this was saved from destruction by the MP John Mad Jack Fuller and before we applaud him, he made his money in the slavery and sugar trade and was opposed to the abolition of slavery. Its last private owner was Lord Curzon, who bequeathed it to the National Trust in 1926. And there's more on the history of Bodium Castle in a little video that you can watch in a couple of the converted rooms. And as always, there's plenty of volunteers around to answer any questions you may have. And now a little bit of trivia. It features briefly in Monty Python's The Holy Grail, and also features in the 1981 music video for Ant Rap by Adam and the Ants. I was more of a Prince Charming man myself. Now getting back to the castle and its layout, it's easy to envisage its grandeur especially when you take a look at the kitchen area. And this is it. It's massive. There are two huge fireplaces where you can only imagine whole animals were roasted. In the corner of the kitchen, we take a stroll down and find this. Was this the water supply for the castle? If not, what else could it be?
and now I look out of the postern tower which would have once had its own portcullis and drawbridge was the tradesman's entrance to Bodium Castle and it looks like they left their own mark and the good news is we can climb the postern tower all the way to the very top by word of warning it's a steep narrow spiral staircase but the good news is when you get to the top the views are certainly worth it and even from up here you can see the fish in the moat below It's from the rooftop you get the best views of the scale of the castle and you start to get the idea of the wealth of Sir Edward. And now it's time to leave the castle and head out through the gatehouse with its giant portcullis. But don't forget to look up into the vaulted roof and there you'll find the murder holes so if you were lucky enough to get this far beware of something dropping on you but as you may be aware this was never used as a defensive castle the French never got this far I think what's truly amazing is that Bodium Castle seems to look stunning from whichever angle you look at it so my advice is do a complete lap So what do you think then? Pretty impressive, eh? And now I look at the 20th century fortification, a pillbox from the Second World War. A little less impressive, we'd have to agree. Now let's take a look to Bodium Station, the end of the line for the Kent and East Sussex Railway. I'm going to be honest with you, we missed the train here, but I'll show you it from the other end at Tenterton. <laughs> Well that wraps up this video, I hope you like what we've put together, don't forget to give us a big like if you have, and why not subscribe. Thanks so much for watching, stay safe, stay well.